the higher bilaterians are broken into two major groups, the protostomes, meaning mouth first, and deuterostomes, meaning mouth second. Although molecular phylogeny supports this grouping, those traits, the formation of the mouth versus the anus, and other embryological traits often used to define these groups, they aren't 100% consistent. So for example, there are a number of, quote, protostomes in which the anus develops first, and the majority of the deuterostomes actually do not use the blastopore as their anus that develops uh, from a second structure, and the mouth might actually vary in its embryological origin between the chordates uh, as a result of the great expansion of the forebrain compared to the non-chordate deuterostomes. And so the position of the anus and the mouth in this phylogeny is difficult. Often, a difference used is the formation of the coelome, with deuterostomes having the enterocele formation as opposed to the schizocele formation of the protostomes. But there are exceptions uh, in this as well, so uh, not all enterocele's are deuterostomes. Another difference uh, often used is the type of cleavage in the embryo with uh, new cells being produced radially or spirally. But while radial cleavage is often used to define the deuterostomes, many protostomes uh, display this as well. In addition, a deuterostome uh, trait is often given that embryonic cells uh, determine their fate later, but there are some tunicates where that is not true. In other words, while deuterostomes and protostomes seem to be uh, strong groupings of the bilaterians that molecular uh, sequencing upholds, morphological traits derived from embryological development typically used to defend these groups are not perfect and that there are exceptions to each of these.